All right. Good morning or oh, good day. Uh, in case you are not in South Africa, it's not morning for you. Ooh, I should have titled my 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 live, and I didn't. So anyway, this live I have a breakout, guys. Being on being a woman, it's not nice. <laughs> sometimes it's beautiful most of the time but it's not nice sometimes i just i had this um oh jesus a huge desire don't mind don't mind <laughs> a huge desire to share a life with you guys and then i'm pouring out my tea that i just made i need the energy you know Too full. I need the energy. Uh, I was busy washing dishes. And I'm like, yo, I need to do a live. I need to do a live. Like, there's a this hunger inside that says, do something, do a live, do a live, do a live, do a live, do a live. Address this issue. <laughs> so, like, okay, let me just hop on it and yeah, get ready to the container, guys. So, don't mind me. I haven't even done my face. I'm going to gym now, half past seven. So I literally have five minutes to share with you what I want to share with you and be gone. So, uh, my, my, what I want to share is just to share why I brought into Herbal Life. Because uh, in the past few days, I've been having a lot of conversations with a whole lot of people. Uh, as you know, I've left my mining engineering job shift supervisor position. Uh, I'm doing her life full time. So this means that it gives me enough opportunity to speak to a whole lot of people per day. So via inboxes, DMs, WhatsApp, Facebook, live when you go to gym or going to the mall. So I get to speak to a lot of people. And then, I, you know, this brand, I'm a proud ambassador of this brand because it has changed my life drastically. So I'm super happy that um, I did this. I, I chose this. And I'm so happy that I met a lady, who Andile. She's from Palm Ridge, where I come from, close to where I come from. Same, Ekukulene East Rand by Toboza, Palm Ridge. And I was so happy that even in my location, because when I went there the last time, there was no herbal life. <laughs> so I'm happy that there's people who are making an impact in that area as well. So uh, talking to a lot of people, and then everyone's like, no, I don't want herbal life. I don't want supplements. I don't want what, what. Now I want to do it naturally. There's a lot of rejections, which is part of the game anyway. So you have to understand that you'll get a lot of people saying no to herbal life. So I just want to share why I said yes to have a life. I even have notes, guys, you see? So I, I don't know, because I don't have enough time. I had to quickly strip down what I want to talk about. <laughs> so I don't, I don't have my thoughts, because your thoughts can, you can end up not having direction of where you want to go or what you intended to speak about. So why did I choose have a life? And I, it's, a, it's a very interesting story. So if you followed me for a while, even from varsity days, when I was in high school, number one, uh, I was one of those that I was, I feel like I was taller than the average girls in my class. And I was a bit thicker than the average girls in my class. I wore clothes that were more bigger than the average kids in my class. So I always felt, even on my friends, I had three friends. It was U, Volvo, Noyanga, and they were thinner than me. So I always felt big. And now when I look back to my pictures at high school, I was not that bad. Just I always felt like I needed to lose weight. And I grew up in a family where my mom is really big. My sisters are big. My aunt is big. My grandmother actually was not big. But then my mom was big. My, my aunties were big. And for, this, for a weird reason, they made me believe that I'm designed to be a big woman. <laughs> so from a young age, I knew I was big bold, you know. So I was always self-conscious or insecure in my own body. I don't know where the confidence came from. Because I remember the first time I wore shorts, I was with my older, one of my older sisters. She told me my thighs are so long. Why are you wearing shorts? Like shorts are not made for you. You should wear things that are longer than your knee. That those will suit you better. Look at me 
me now <laughs> sharing my thighs with the whole world <laughs> so yeah so uh, i grew up being in very insecure so even on varsity varsity i came in and i was already varsity i was very cautious of what i'm eating and wala, 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 wala. i picked up weight lots of weight also being a first year being exposed to lots of food that you're never even in, uh, exposed to then you end up picking picking up lots of weight and throughout varsity i was on a yo-yo with my body and then post varsity i was also on a yo-yo so i've tried like i think every diet that is out not out there not every diet it has lots of diets but the most diets that are popular like your cabbage soup diet i tried that not enough food i love food like i really love food i'm a fan of food <laughs> So there was not enough food, so I would um, quit like on my first, second day, I would last day one, last day two, day three, I am already sneaking in things that I'm not supposed to be having. By day three, by day four, I'm done. I think the one, last, the one time where I actually did it for the whole seven days, uh, I did lose weight. But I, the next week when I introduced the food, I felt like I was being pumped. Like I... I gained double the weight so I've done um, what you call the other one it was a, a coffee black coffee tea, diet Ooh, there you were just drinking black coffee with toasted bread once a day I think I don't know but it was a somewhat one complicated diet uh, I've done which other one did I do oh there's a lot oh not eating diet you know they're not eating diet and you wake up in the morning and then you go do go by your day decide that i will not eat until supper so i've done that one we don't eat the whole day and you only had one big plate and that big plate represents all the meals that you've <laughs> you've missed and then you feel better because the case is just one meal you know just one meal like or uh, the other one that i used to love is, is fasting i used to love fasting and i was not fasting for the intention of fasting <laughs> I used to fast for the intention of losing weight. <laughs> so I would fast for days, like, I would fast for three days. Ah, I can tell more. <laughs> the amount of food I would eat. So my body Jay, kept on doing the yo yo ring, yo yo ring, yo yo ring. So uh, when I was introduced to have a life, the number one thing, okay, then the other one I did that I really was a bit com more committed. I met this guy online. Um, I don't want to mention his name now. Uh, I bought his program online. Uh, it was a workout program. Then he had a meal plan, the like a low carb diet. I tried that one. But the issue with that one for me was that number one, I could not find food. Some of the foods he had mentioned on his diet, like I could not find them in my local stores. And then if ever I do find it, I could not afford to buy it. <laughs> So I couldn't buy it, and then if I if I could buy it, I could I didn't love the taste. I hated, ooh, like I like no, I don't like this. Then you quit because you don't like the taste. Like it's just not good. So when I was introduced to have a life nutrition, the number one thing that got me was that I loved the taste. I loved the shake like because I've done shakes before I've done a lot of uh, other supplements I'm not I, I, I really I'm not one of those people who are very complicated I don't do whole foods or I did try organic egg I want the times of like shame go organic and whole food and only eating things grown I don't have the time number one I worked at the mines didn't have the time to be picking up whole food and going for to look for things that are green grown I didn't have that time I didn't have the, <laughs> I didn't have the energy to be pick, 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 pocketing with this chicken, is it? Oh, oh, no, I didn't have that. That was not part of me. I followed a lady from America also who did uh, a, a whole food diet, which is organics and whatever. And I realized I cannot keep up counting calories. And my thing, I do not have time to weigh food before I eat it. So that was the issue I had with that one. So I knew that... Uh, Oh, I'm pro supplements. I did try uh, other shakes, which tasted like so, so, so sweet. I, I always get shocked when someone says the shake is sweet. Because I used to taste like, I don't want to mention brands, but then they were like so sweet. And then I would get so constipated. 
and I would not know what happened, what's, what's going on. No one was there to tell me what to do. I read the label, I didn't understand half of the stuff that was on the labels. No one was there to help, help me when I go through. And yeah, so I did that one. I did tablets. Um, there was this other one where you drink a tablet a day. I think it's high caffeine tablet. They say it helps you shrink. It drains water or something like that in your body. The palpitations when i worked underground guys so imagine not being able to breathe when you have to climb a race so it, it was just not working for me so i did a lot of these things so when i was introduced to herbalife the first thing that for me that was the most amazing was the fact that i could love the taste of the shake so uh, the first product i was i i really did take was the shake and was shake with pdm uh, this is why I cannot even today like I just um, I do not prefer it having shake alone <laughs> My shake always has PDM like whew, I've tried the shake alone. It's nice But then mm, my PDM does the flavor because that's the first thing I was introduced to shake and PDM And then I was introduced to the tea and the fiber and the aloe so i couldn't for the longest time i couldn't take tea alone I, all, my tea only said to have aloe because that's how i was used to it from the beginning so it tasted amazing that was number one and then the other things that when i was on the other stuff i would have low energy by the third day like i, I like i couldn't even carry my own body like i would have low energy i would not have any energy so i felt a lot of energy release like i felt amazing just i felt lighter i felt like i could conquer the world that's how i felt when i started with the shakes and with the herbal life programs let me say so i felt amazing it tasted good and the plus what for me was that i could eat <laughs> I could eat. I think for the longest time, I was one of those who was having just one shake a day and having two meals, which also did slow down my progress. So now I've learned to replace the two meals because the plan says replace two of your meals with one meal. So I eat one meal, one colorful meal, and I'm happy with it because I eat what I love eating. I love cooking. I love eating. I love eating good tasting food. So I get to eat good tasting food while I'm on my plan, which is amazing for me. And then the plus... The biggest bonus for me why i love have life nutrition is the fact that my whole family can be on it because before i would be on a diet alone and i felt like i was a, a an orphan in my own house because i'm here at home and then i'm eating my own food and then i have their own food uh, so now i get to actually get to actually have fun with my family because our breakfast is the same. No one is eating a different breakfast. When we're having lunch, we're having similar food, we're having the same food, I eat the same food as them. Then for dinner, they can have what we had for lunch or actually I can choose to have a shake and my kids have learned to also have a shake for dinner. Like it's no longer a brainer now, like I'm the only one who's having this and then when they buy Zimbas and they buy whatever, I buy all these other nice snacks, I can't eat them. So now I've learned to actually live a healthy, active lifestyle, literally. I balance my meals. I know when to have fun. I know when to have alcohol. I know when to, <laughs> I do drink guys. Mother, I'm not an alcoholic and it's just occasional. And I just celebrate uh -huh, uh -huh. So I do eat, I do eat sweets, I do eat chocolates, but then obviously I just don't eat them when I'm on my 10 day plan. I don't eat them when I'm on my 21 day plan. But then I get to know that I can have them. The fact that I get to know that I can have them. There was an issue with me not being able to, being told that you cannot have this kind of food. It made me want that food even more. When I was told that I cannot have this. Oh, Jesus. The only thing I could think of was that kind of food. And then I would end up eating that kind of food. So uh, I'm happy with the program. Like I'm super, super happy. My results are amazing. Um, and I even made a decision. Um, uh, I think about four weeks back that I'll be vegetarian. I didn't, I did not think I would commit to that. And I'm so happy that I committed to being a vegetarian. Um, I realized so far that, um, it's, it's, quite, it's quite tricky for me over the weekends because over the weekends we're traveling, we're meeting new people and I feel like I'm inconveniencing them if I'm vegetarian because now they have to kind of like suit me and um, so I've decided that you no know, weekends 
I might not do vegetarian as I would love to, but during the week I'll be vegetarian all I want because I'm at home, I can eat whatever I want. So just for the inconvenience of other people because I'm going around a lot of places, but when I'm home I don't mind preparing my own vegetarian meals while I prepare them, the, the meat and whatever they want to eat. So these days I can do that. I can literally prepare their meat and prepare my own vegetarian meal and I don't mind before I used to mind. So I love how this whole thing has taught me how to love myself, number one, how to love the process, the journey, the journey itself. Because one thing that I've learned with Herbalife Nutrition is that there's no quick results. Like there's no such thing as if you're going to lose 10 kg in 10 days. It's like it, it doesn't really happen. Eh? If it happens for you, yes, you are one of the few. That's why they say the results are typical uh, yeah, they're not typical, but then they are possible, you know, then I'm not one of those Possible people. I'm one of the non-typical people where it takes a bit of a while for me to start seeing my results But when I see my results I I a smasher guys. Yeah, smasher. I am hot. Have you seen my latest picture? I am hot like a heater <laughs> So I feel amazing. I, I love how I'm feeling. The most thing that I love what I am feeling, even uh, with my clients, I always say, you know, you might not see, because when you do the 10 day challenge, the, the, the focus is weighing yourself on a daily basis because we want you to be comfortable with your own body. You want to you to be comfortable with who you are because who you are, it doesn't mean you are going to stay there forever. It means that you can change. So if you are comfortable with who you are, you are willing to move a step forward. But then if you're not comfortable to even face your reality, if you are ignorant of who you are at the moment, how will you ever change it? You can never change your situation. If you cannot look at your bank account or look at the scale and see it as it is, and then be able to see what it can be. That's the beauty of it. You must see what it is and then see where it can be. And where it can be should always be an amazing place, way better than where it is. So I'm super, super happy that uh, I've learned these things through the process. Because if you learn the process, if you are in the process and you actually get to enjoy the process and get to enjoy your day-to-day -day progression towards the realization of your goal, then you become better. But then if you do not progressively, progressively, progressively on a daily basis, make progress to what you have made plans to achieve, then you are failing so guys i hope this was of value because i had this burning desire to just do a live like i don't know who is calling for me if it was you hit me up on the dm leave your comment below i'm gonna leave this up just hit me up tell me oh Busi, you addressed what i wanted to hear like you know what today i was feeling like i want to start with this have a life thing and I'm not really sure how to get started or why should I get started because I've, I heard people say you don't eat, you starve. There's one lady who said, I don't want to starve. I'm like, we don't starve. Dude, if ever I starved, you would see it on my skin. Look how glowing I am. And I'm about to increase my glow. Uh, there's this thing about Miss Toner, guys. Ooh. I don't know whether I can see. Uh, can you see? Just like that. I just increase my glow up so yeah this is what we do guys we just increase the glow up uh, let's go hit the gym we're doing legs i always say like every time i record a video i feel like i'm saying i'm doing legs <laughs> so we're doing legs <laughs> yesterday we did chest and back so i'm hitting up the gym i'm already doing my squat and uh, 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 yeah Thank you, Javi. Javi says we eat. Yes, we eat. So, guys, uh, if you if you are ready to get started, our 10-day challenge is starting. We are on day zero today. We're submitting all the weights. We are giving out all the plans. We are checking up on everyone that they have all their stuff. You can still hit me up. I have one more team to fill up. So, I filled up three teams. I need one more team to fill up. So, I have this lady from Bomalanga who says, Musi, I want to do this with you. So, I also want to help you fill up the team. So, today we are working on filling up a team so we need to help people guys i'm pro woman i'm pro woman confidence body confidence i'm pro like you can see 
whether I'm chubby, when I was chubby, I was wearing short things because I am really into women confidence. I want women to, because I see people who are, like when I look at them, I feel like, dude, like you should not be insecure in your body because, I mean, you look amazing and I want to look like you and then the person is insecure. I'm pro body confidence. And then if you want to be body confident, you must also be willing to to work on yourself to to feel more amazing because you want to be able to be flexible you want to be able to do things that you want to do you want to be able to have energy to play with your kids you want to have energy to be with your friends you want to feel amazing you want to be because the one thing about weight also it makes you a bit grumpy you want to be excited all the time so guys this is me saying bye bye have a beautiful beautiful day with my thighs you see my sister my sister from the other mother uh, i do wear shorts that show my long thighs i love my long thighs <laughs>